Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexandra. Welcome on my bedroom. Happy Friday, it's my Friday. Happy Friday to you. I hope you had a good week. And did you know, did you know that today apparently is National Rum Day? So I thought, let's pour an Anna B cocktail. Let's watch Lucifer. You and me together will have a good time. So here we are, Lucifer season three, episode seven. Candy safe. I know you all were worried but she's fine she's got her club now lucifer is back to vegas having told chloe unintentionally a little truth bomb that he cares about her which i would hope she would know at this point that he at least cares for her on some level but now what does chloe would do with this information i don't know with this way the series has been going this season who who knows who knows but i'm so glad that you are here with me so i hope you have your favorite fruity whatever whatever you're drinking i hope it is enjoyable and that you remember full episode watch along is available on patreon where i would love to see you also if you did not know i started watching resident alien which is a patreon exclusive so check it out but if you're ready i think i'm ready it's so hard here. <laughs> but let's get to it <laughs> This is not a previously on Lucifer as every episode up in Tenal has been, except for the pilot, but we're just diving right into it. Welcome back to the land of the living, Mr. Getty. It's Mr. Getty. What happened? Just a little brush with death. You had us worried there for a while. You can see me wanting to ask a bajillion questions already. Is my wife here? No. I'm sorry you haven't had any visitors. We have been having some trouble lately. Second chance on life. Maybe it's not too late to turn things around. Hey! What happened to our previously on Lucifer? For some reason, it's throwing me. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Oh, is she with Lucifer? So, I'm sorry to shag and run, darling, but... Uh... Was she... Was he really shagging? Ah, lovely. <laughs> and he follows him to Lux. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Lucifer Morningstar. You're serious? That's his name? What kind of idiot calls himself that? The kind who owns this place? Don't think I haven't noticed you watching me. And the answer is no. I will not sleep with you. Excuse me? It's not because you're a man, it's just because... Well, I don't find you attractive. <laughs> but maybe I could introduce you to someone more, your you know, your league. There's a chubby fella over there. Mm. I'm sure he wouldn't mind giving you a reach around or something. I'm Mary. My wife, who's the smartest and funniest person I ever met, and the only woman that I've ever loved, is sleeping with another man. And she didn't come see you in the hospital. Well, then why are you wasting time trying to pick me up? You should be punishing him. I think I'm just going to punch him in the face. That's not enough for someone who stole your wife. <gasps> right. Now you should destroy him. Uh... Tear his very life apart, piece by piece. Oh, pumpkin. Yes, LAPD. And I'm a consultant. You. You work with the police. Started a couple of weeks ago. Oh. It's quite fun. Wait. What? Wait. Uh, Reese. Hi. Ah, owner of the pieces. <laughs> so we've gone back in time? No, I'm working on my new story. It's about a shady nightclub owner. <sighs> so he's a weirdo. I don't see a story. He's consulting for the LAPD. I've got a bad feeling this guy's up to no good. Remember the last time I had a bad feeling? You ended up in the hospital? How was he in the hospital? And this was a season one timeline. Bringing this guy season down, one there wouldn't line. be a personal reason behind it, season would there? Season three. No. Of course not. Okay. I'm a journalist for the LA Telegraph. So I pitched my editor, and she said I could do a piece on you. No. What, an entire article dedicated to me? It feeds in with his flattery. Gosh, this will be fun. Because it's a season one Lucifer, right? Right? The rum hasn't even hit yet. What is going to happen? 
He helped me out with some gambling debts. Saved my life. Five years ago. I heard he was somewhere terrible down south. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I love the guy. Just love that guy. Everyone here just loves Lucifer. Mm -hmm. I don't like Lucifer. <laughs> Someone's been stealing my pudding. The pudding! The pudding. You and Detective Decker are married? Were. Well, I guess now they were still... Separated is not divorced. There's still time. Oh, was he separated from his wife? I know you. Are you the guy from Lux? I'm here to write a story about you and Lucifer. Oh, now she's involved in the story. Mm. Yeah, no thanks. Detective Chloe Decker. I did my research. Hot tub high school. Your dad. <gasps> he brought up her father. Your lieutenant and my editor like this. I've been assigned to ride along with you, detective, so we can either make this a pleasant experience or we can do it the hard way. I'll pick the hard way. Yeah. Or what else? What? Else? <laughs> he just followed me around. <laughs> She's had experience with that before. What am I supposed to do with these? Wear them. Like you always do. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She owns an organic cosmetic slime, sort of a uh, local celebrity for all Ooh. natural skincare. Ooh. Ooh. This was a ritualistic yes, thing. I made them anywhere. Sea caps, <gasps> to be precise. Evidence! Oh, look at these. Evidence! Got... Juggle the evidence, Lucifer. They're called fun bags for a reason. Why would he do this to someone who values natural beauty? Not to punish her? Well, that is a very good Maybe question. Maybe she wasn't Daniel, as but natural as, as she was claiming to be. Because I'm the devil. <laughs> Poppy wasn't as all natural as she wanted everyone to believe. She's a fraud. Someone wanted to reveal that the people around her can't trust her. Very good. Go Reese Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> so someone's killing charlatans. Huh? The worst kind of scum, next to boy bands. The environmentalist. A week ago, and Poppy here becoming more obsessed. He's accelerating his timeline. I have a feeling that's not what it looked like. What's he get out of it? You'll have to ask him. He'll tell you. He'll tell you. Hi, hon. I know you've been avoiding me. I mean, things have been off. But I want to try and turn things around. By stalking your lover. <laughs> Lucifer Morningstar alone. Maze. Maze. You can't scare me off. I've been threatened by worse than you. I guarantee you haven't. Oh. Ah, it's maze just like we like her. You can see my brain working, can't you? I'm trying to wait. Mm -hmm. Absorb. Something shady going on here. Oh, okay, but there's Could um, be a drug. Lucifer's there. Trafficking. Mr. Getty, your wife's in your office. Oh, not Lucifer. Have a look. <gasps> we need to talk. Dr. Linda? Reese, why are people in your office calling me your wife? Dr. Linda? Wife. No. We're separated. It's been two years. That's actually why I'm here. I signed the divorce papers. Dr. Linda. You need to move on. I can't move on. Don't you know how much I love you? You never give up. It's one of the reasons I fell in love with you. Until? That was a long time ago. Not that long ago. This is classic denial. It's a self-defense mechanism. Don't that analyze me. That's her job, dude. Sign them. Dr. Linda. Oh, he's so stealthy. 
Oh, yeah. And we know the elevator to the penthouse is just free to anybody to access. Until Mace shows up. What the? Oh, no. This is on purpose. Don't worry. I'm going to get you out of here. She does not want out of there, Pumpkin. This is part of the routine. <laughs> what are you doing here? Well, the pain is not caught you sneaking into my penthouse, so perhaps you should answer that question. <laughs> Who is this guy, Lucifer? He doesn't seem very fun. You're not tied up against your will? Oh, no. Does it look like it? I know I'm onto something. Why would you send that crazy ninja woman after me? No, I didn't send her. She's just a tad overprotective, that's all. Demon bartenders, you know how they can be. What about that pile of cash I saw you give that cop? Yes, to buy his duffel bag. Hard to find quality leather with such tensile strength. This will prove everything. Let it be cake. Let it be cake! Ooh! Wow, that's not cake, but... Edible sex toys. Just as tasty! Oops, so I had to sneak the delicious things through customs. I'm guessing I don't know. I don't, really. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You thought that you had a nice juicy scoop for your paper. Unfortunately for you, the only juicy thing here is the uh, watermelon willies. Watermelon. I'm allergic to watermelon. Of course. The detective just called with some sort of lead. I mean, I was going to do Veronica first, but you don't mind waiting, do you, darling? Not at all. Um, Victoria might need to pee while she's tied up. <laughs> I wanted to write a piece that showed that your partnership was a dangerous joke. But the truth is, he's just frustratingly, annoyingly, a charming guy. Charming as hell. There's no story here. I'm just going to drop it. Right. Now the detective's gone, <sighs> let's have a chat, just the two of us, shall we? Oh, but he sat on this for years. Wait, what? I've got a lovely lady tied up back at my place. So I'd like to speed things up. <gasps> so Reese saw it, and then what? Reese? Oh, he doesn't see Reese. <laughs> Does Linda have him committed? How did you get that name? Uh, okay, invading my privacy is one thing, but if you're stalking my client... No, he isn't some patient. That's just a ploy that he used to seduce you. Okay, so that's <laughs> what this is about. It is none of your business who I sleep with. Except when he's your client. Hmm. Satan's, or devil, devil's besides the point. I'm enjoying myself with someone who doesn't make me feel trapped. But being with him is the most liberating experience of my life. If I can come up with proof that he is the devil. Sign the papers. <laughs> that are handily right there on the corner of her desk. That's how we start all of our brainstorming plans, don't we? We just write proof. <laughs> Idea. Idea. <laughs> oh, he's been on this for a while. He had to because we're in season three. Welcome, Graham. <gasps> Long time. And he, how has he been paying the bills? If this seems to be his obsession. Candy. 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 Wow. Again, how has he been paying rent or paying for this place? <laughs> and by this time, Linda already knows the truth. <laughs> Dude. 
Okay. He's been allowed to stay in that office for a year? We're here about the serial killer case from last year. All the victims were local celebrities who were featured in the Telegraph style section. Oh. I was complaining to the detective about some posts of mine that have been removed from a website for roosters of award-winning size. <laughs> you see, I was posting pictures of my... Okay. You... you still haven't destroyed him, have you? Excuse me? That sleazy mm -hmm. piece of garbage that was sleeping with your wife. I'm starting to think that he might be undestroyable. Don't be afraid to take a big swing. It can be therapeutic. Oh, speaking of... Oh, I'm late for my own therapy. Again. Oh, salt in the wound. Salt in the wound. She said that was a ridiculous idea. <sighs> Linda. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. You know him as well? <laughs> Your ex-husband, so we're tunnel buddies. <sighs> tunnel buddies? You realize what you just did? Wings, wings. You just ruined a perfectly good Burberry. What kind of monster are, are you? you? You're lucky the detective isn't here. You'd be cleaning my blood out of the couch. Oh, God, just give him the clue. I know he's the devil. What? Is this what you were trying to tell me all those months ago? I saw his real face. If you see it, then you'll know. I have seen it. And if this unsettled by me, I'd hate to see what you're going to do to the scoundrel who's been sleeping with your wife. Oh. I didn't oh. realize what you were going through. <laughs> you know now. And you're still seeing him? But he's not what you think. He's the devil! Oh, it's not like I've hidden that fact. <laughs> he's evil <laughs> incarnate! No. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. He's a good man. He's my friend. Lucifer, did you not realize that either? Trying to prove to you who he really is. And she knows better than Lucifer. Are you still working on this nightclub owner thing? Has he been doing anything else? This guy has won. If you don't let this go, it's going to be the end of your career. So I take it deep down, Reese isn't a good man to be driven this, this far into jealousy. And this doesn't look like a serial killer. I knew this day would come. I'll surrender quietly. Oh no! Did he announce himself as a cop at all? <laughs> well, my job is to dig up the truth. And once I saw your work, I, I realized that you were just doing the same thing. I'm back on my meds now. I'm trying to be good. It's hard, but I'm trying. I'm try so my meds are preventing me from killing people. I met this guy recently. Biggest fraud I'd ever encountered. What happened? He won. They always do. Unless someone does something. Reese, I can't vote, root for you. I can't root for you to go on and, and live a better existence than you've been because you're being a real dick. You're helping me, so thanks. Although I have no idea why we had to meet here. What do you think Lucifer gets out of this partnership? I think a long time ago, somebody wronged Lucifer, and he hides behind the party, working on each case. It gives him an opportunity to right those wrongs, to fight back. <laughs> Sorry, I just think, uh... <gasps> Washes away our sins. They never said that love is a twisting game. And all you may be right. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, you're responsible for murder, dude. Accessory to crime. She's dead. What happened? This episode.
episode. This episode. How could the killer be here the exact same time we were? Just... It must be you. What? Mm hmm. He was here for you. He must have figured out that you were going to pass over information about him. I'm so sorry. This is. No. I went a different direction. This is not your fault. There's only one person who's to blame for this. He doesn't. This is all your fault. You ruined my life. Mm -mm, you drove mm -mm. me to do things I never mm -mm. would have done. There's a dead girl down there because of you. I never make any of you do anything. That's not true. Totally true. I have a story for you, reporter. One I've never told a human soul before. I take no part in who goes to hell. Then who does? You. <laughs> you. You send yourselves, driven down by your own guilt, forcing yourselves to relive your sins over and over. And the best part, you could leave any time. It says something that no one ever does, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You're to blame. You have to be. Because you're spineless and you're weak and I got thoughts. Otherwise. You're weak and you're spineless and you're Anthony a douche canoe. That's not what you really want to do, is it? <gasps> He's not going to hurt himself, is he? What do you truly desire? I just want Linda to love me. Just... You're still in love with your ex. What about your wife? She is my wife. In his heart. She'll always be my wife. Hold on, that, that sleazy piece of garbage, that, <laughs> that was me. She cares for you. How'd you do that? <laughs> How did you convince her that the devil... So many thoughts right now. ...was good? I don't know. I just showed her my true self. But how could she accept you after that? Because he was genuine. Well, maybe she did. Because of that. Before you say anything, hear me out. I was a bad husband. Mm. Our marriage failing was all my fault. And I'm sorry. You deserve better. It wasn't all your fault. No. I wasn't perfect either. He's done terrible things. I'm colored by his current behavior. Neither one of us could be what the other one needed. That's why it's good that we're going our separate ways. I thought me opening up would bring us closer. You were a conspiracy to murder. That's not how this works. You forgave the devil. Why can't you forgive me? You know, for a second, I thought that you were honestly taking responsibility. The things that I've done for you. I risked everything getting involved with a serial killer. A poor girl got killed. I, I, I can explain it. Reese, what have you done? No, it, it, it wasn't my fault. I'm calling the police. No, <gasps> it was an act. Oh, Linda, you're in danger, girl. Let me explain. Reese, let go of me. No. Oh, God. I'm sorry. You're right. Call Detective Decker. I'll give them everything that I have, and I'll turn myself in. Let me make this right. Goodbye, Reese. You sent me to kill the wrong man. Lucifer wasn't a fraud. The fraud is you! Reporter lying to people. Uh-huh. The coward trying to get another man to do his dirty work. You're the one uh -huh. who deserves to go next. Uh, that's a little extreme, however. What are you laughing about? <laughs> I caught you. Ah, oh, Reese. You're laying down on the job. Now, Lucifer, now you're doing this? Then tell me. Yes, man. That... Or the poison I drank. You didn't drink all of it. I set things right. Maybe this will turn things around. With Linda. Welcome back to the land of the living, Mr. Getty. Ha 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 ha. Okay. What happened? Just a little brush with death. Is my wife here? I'm sorry you haven't had any visitors. We have been having some trouble lately. But you know what? Second chance on life. Maybe it's not too late to turn things around.
this is an episode that I love as much it has things that I hated. But okay, the reveal that Reese was Linda's ex-husband, husband, ex-husband. Brilliant. The serial killer finding him and then him going after Lucifer, but then Lucifer being himself. And the serial killer recognizing that and then turning on Reese saying, you're the fraud, which we all knew, but you're the fraud. Brilliant. We get Linda revealing to Lucifer and Lucifer not really realizing or knowing that Linda generally cares for him because he is himself. As soon as he revealed his essence that we have seen, Lucifer hasn't seen his essence yet. We've seen his essence. Linda's seen his essence and she still cares for him and trusts him friends with him great moment and then the reveal at the end that reese wasn't just reliving his one moment of guilt it was all this year plus plus moments of guilt guilt brilliant love it love it that's the kind of storytelling oh it makes my heart happy what i didn't enjoy though was my brain, as you saw, was keep trying to place why are we telling the story now and not season one? Because it made much more sense for it to be a season one story. Even season two with Linda getting the reveal that Lucifer was Lucifer and she's like, yes, I know. I've known. I've known. I've known. He's my friend. Because again, he's not evil. His job isn't to make you do the bad things. His job is for punishing you for the bad things you chose to do on your own. Reese. So me trying to place why this story was happening now and not previously, because we didn't get the big reveal at the end, that was driving me insane. And then just the character of Reese himself, which was that narcissistic, toxic, toxic, toxic masculinity, maybe, but just his constant, I am right, you're wrong. None of this is my fault. It's all your fault. It's his fault. It's everybody else's fault but my own. I'm not going to learn from this moment. I'm just going to triple down, quadruple down, and just dig myself into a bigger hole until I prove I am right. And then he died for it. But until he died for it, he was not, as I said before, a character I could root for. There was a few moments where you could have gone, oh look, he's gained some enlightenment. He's realized, okay, it wasn't this guy's fault. Was it, it was, I need to grow from this, I need to move on. But he didn't take that, which I guess is the moral of the story, which is if you become as obsessed with your own righteousness, rightness, righteousness, you'll go to hell. <laughs> is that the lesson of the story? Mm -hmm. But overall, at the end, you have to sit through the whole thing you have to sit the whole thing and then it's brilliant brilliant because as we were going along with that last little bit i thought we were oh because at first it makes it seem like he woke up from the hospital and then went to linda's and all the events happened and then he wakes up in the hospital again so we're like oh we have been seeing flashbacks and now he's gonna start again but no he is starting again So now, so, but yeah, so when the, before the reveal reveal came, I thought like, oh, is he going to come back and other episodes? But no, he's not that we know of unless he lets himself out the door. Hmm. <laughs> Still kind of an oddball place to put this episode in the series, but I eventually enjoyed myself. There we go. There we go. I think kind of wish I could watch other people watch this episode. This is one of those episodes you want to watch somebody else watch, isn't it? It is. It is. So thank you for watching me watch it. I hope you had a good time. Okay, there we go. Episode 7, 8. I don't know where we are now, but thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate each and every one of you so much. Please stay um, safe. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Stretch your bodies in... Um, yeah, come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.